Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn about workbenches in CATIA. So, what is workbench? A workbench is like a module or application within the software. CATIA offers you several workbenches to complete your design tasks. There are several ways to access the available workbenches. Select it from the CATIA Start menu, or you can use the workbench icon to access the workbenches customized to display in the Welcome to CATIA V5 dialog. The workbench icon is typically docked vertically near the upper right edge of the graphics window. There are various workbenches in CATIA for most of the designing and manufacturing fields, but I'm going to share some most frequently used workbenches with you. CATIA can be used to create solid parts, assemblies, 2D parts, surfaces, sheet metal designs, plastics, electrical parts and assemblies, and it can also be used for meshing and analysis. The Sketcher Workbench is where you create all your parametrically constrained planner curves in the parts file. The sketches drive the solid and surface geometry. This is a special workbench that exists within the part design, sheet metal design, and generative shape design workbenches. The part design workbench creates solid geometry in the part file. The generative shape design workbench creates surface geometry in the part file. The assembly design workbench allows you to position multiple components with respect to each other in the assembly file. The drafting workbench creates linked views of the parts and assembly files in the drawing file and allows you to manually draw 2D geometry. Sometimes you don't see all the tools in the workbench that you selected. So what happened? In fact, some workbenches will display fewer commands depending on the selected license. CATIA offers several levels on capability within each workbench. For example, you can enter the Generative Shape Design Workbench using either the Generative Shape Design 1 GS1 or Generative Shape Design 2 GSD license. The higher level license will give you additional commands that often offer more advanced functionality. You can identify the bundle and licenses that you are currently using by selecting Tools, Options, General, then click the Licensing tab. Licenses checked out to you have an active checkbox. Bundles tend to cause further confusion because they don't list the licenses that are inside them. Selecting from the Sketcher, Part Design, or the Generative Shape Design workbenches will just change to the workbench if you are already using one of them because they all use the same file type to store their data. However, Selecting the assembly design or drafting workbenches will launch a new document because their information is stored differently from the other workbenches. So that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and join me next time.